hello friends in this video we will talk about basics of automotive infotainment systems also called as IVA systems that is in vehicle infotainment in the first slide we will talk about a typical IVA system architecture which, con which consists of five layers as shown in the figure the bottom layer is hardware layer on top of it we have OS layer then middleware layer then application layer and in the last we have HMI layer in the hardware layer we have other sub modules such as CPU memory GAN bootloader in OS layer we have BSP that is boot support packages and OS core in middleware layer we have media and graphics platform management system infrastructure and automotive connectivity in application layer we have entertainment mobile office networking navigation and in the HMI layer we have speech user interface and HMI core so let us talk about the bottommost layer that is hardware layer so it composed of a processor with additional essential hardware and firmware to boot the operating system additionally this layer is often equipped with a set of automotive input output devices like can and most interfaces the operating system layer that is the OS layer generally consists of operating system along with a board support package and drivers the operating system itself typically manages hardware and software resources and provide application with common services the BSP provides essential support code that facilitates the port porting of an OS to a new hardware environment the drivers operate and manage attached hardware devices by providing software interfaces to the hardware devices then the next layer is middleware layer and it consists of component and interfaces in software that supplies services to the application that are not available from the operating system layer so that the function area of the application layer can be realized consequently the middleware layer simplifies the communication and input output of data between the application layer and the operating system layer as a result application developer can focus on the particular purpose and functionality so basically the middleware layer acts as a middleman between the application layer and OS layer then we have the application layer which contain a mix of application all designed to provide a specific functionality to the benefit of the user applications are dependent on other software referenced to the system software to be able to execute system software differentiate from the application software in the sense that it serves the later so in the application layer we have different functionalities available in a typical infotainment system such as such as entertainment that is USB multimedia and all and networking for connectivity like Bluetooth and Wi-Fi and we also have functionality like navigation so all these functionalities will fall under application layer and in the last we have the HMI layer which is the interface to the user of the IVI system and controls the display of IVI systems head unit it is responsible for processing and responding the users input which could come from either touch screen input or the speech recognition input or the control knobs which are available which provides the basic input to the infotainment system so this is just an example of a IVI system architecture in the next slide we will see the IVI system block diagram So in this slide we can see we have different components available so in the center we have the microprocessor 
which interacts with other modules for respective functionality the first one is analog digital tuner so this chipset will provide the tuner functionality to the infotainment system and it could have two kind of tuners available it could it could have analog and it could have digital tuner so analog by analog tuner we mean the FM and AM reception and by digital tuner we mean the digital uh, tuners available in the market so it could be SDARS or it could be DAB then we have the GPS module so GPS chipset will be available which will provide the GPS signals to the infotainment system and basically it is used when we are using the navigation feature of the infotainment then we have BTWLAN module chipset so it will provide the Bluetooth or the Wi-Fi connectivity to the infotainment system then we have the CAN transceiver so as you know in the automotive environment the different ECUs communicate with each other on the CAN network so for that we require a CAN transceiver and also in an automotive environment we have diff other communication method which is LIN so for the LIN we require LIN transceiver and then we have the USB block so which provides the basic USB connectivity to the infotainment system then we have camera and HMI blocks so camera will provide the camera input to the infotainment system for an example when we are parking our vehicle so the camera will be available in the backside and it will it will project the image onto the HMI then we have the HMI or LCD block which is responsible for providing the graphic user interface on the display unit then we have the last section that is for the audio audio part so here we you can see we have two uh, blocks one is ADC and other one is DAC so ADC stands for the analog to digital converter and DAC stands for digital to analog converter so when we are providing some input from the mic the signal will be of analog type and it will be converted to digital signal using ADC block and it will get fetched to the microprocessor for processing and when the signals are coming from the microprocessor those signals will be digital in nature and then the DAC block will come into action and it will convert the digital signal into the analog one so DAC that is digital to analog converter and that and that analog signal will be given to the audio amplifier which will amplify the signal strength and then those signals will be diverted to the speakers available in the car so typically we have four speakers two in the front and two in the back so this is just a basic system block diagram of a in vehicle infotainment system in the next slide we will discuss about the head unit so this is just an example of a typical head unit available in your vehicle and this image shows the back side of the head unit which has different connectors for different functionality so it has ports for the Wi-Fi for GPS for mic for radio antennas for video input output for output to the speakers and it has also the port which is the power port which is a power connector and provides the power input to the infotainment head unit